absolutely wrong. I have no clue what that is. How far away is it? That's a good question. What is it? Genuinely, I don't know what I that no is. No idea. Have you just come from the circus? What is it, James? I mean, I Behold. see it says Crosley on it, but... Sorry, I've got to... I'm sorry about this, but it's a very precious car, and it started raining. I've just got to put the roof up, but it goes up like an MX-5. It just takes a couple of seconds. You can do it whilst you're on the move. It's a 1947 Crosley CC convertible. It's like you tell you a little bit about the history of the car. It's fascinating. I'm feeling you're going to. In the 1930s, there was a man in America called Powell Crosley Jr. Mm -hmm. He made his fortune out of domestic appliances. Uh, he was the first person to build a fridge with shelves in the door, something we all take for granted now, you see. And he looked around and he saw that everybody in America was driving really massive cars, and he thought that was ridiculous. So he decided to use some of his fortune to make small cars. He famously said, if you're crossing a river, you don't need a battleship. And he decided that he'd sell his cars in his shops alongside his domestic appliances. And that's why this car is only four feet wide, because it has to go through the door of a shop. All good thinking, actually, on the part of Mr Crosby. He was a genius. However, I have produced larger and more attractive bogies than this. What is the motor? It's a four-cylinder, 724cc engine developing <clears throat> 26 and a half Horsepower. No, 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 hold on, hold on. How old is this? 70 1947. Some... So it's something 70 something years old. We've got to assume most of those have got 12? 14. 14. Max. By now. A lot of those horses will have James, died. Did you hear the words 1,400 mile road trip? Yeah. And you've got, if you're lucky, 14 horsepower. What did you pay for it? Yeah, there's a bit of a story about that, actually, mm -hmm. because it was on um, a, a well-known car auction website, mm -hmm. and I looked at it, and it finished that evening, and the bidding was at £400. Mm -hmm. So I bid £450. Then I went off and got some wine, and took come back later, and, and uh, went up a bit, and it was... What did you pay? £11,000. <laughs> £11,000 for that? I bought it when I was drunk. If you went... <laughs> <laughs> I can't grant you that. Fair point. So, hold on. Well, they got my entire Mitsuoka Lucie for only 11500 <laughs> What is a proper car? No, it, it is. It is. It's grand for an old Nissan in a bad right. frock. How much was this? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, exactly my point. How much? Um, it, it was £18,500. What? Eight, I've always wanted one. It's a convertible pickup truck. I know. It's yeah. like a speed hump on a runway. It's completely useless. <laughs> That's... Come on, let's get going. Oh. You don't suppose? I do suppose, yes. Oh, Mr. Wilman's being yes, funny. Yes, back up. Well, I've got to be honest, I mean, that's even more inappropriate than any of our cars, because that's designed to do a quarter of a mile, isn't it? That is an hot rod, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> look. Says. Look. <laughs> that. Well, that is, that is a doom, isn't it? That is the end. Would you want to drive a car that says titties and beer on the side of it? Really wouldn't. 